Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Taurus their monthly love reads. This is for May 2022. Um, so we are going to get cards on you, them, and the connection. Um, we are going to get some oracle cards and some message cards between you and your person, like usual. So let's see what we got for you, them, and the connection. These are general reads, guys, so please take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest. If you feel like this is not your read, feel free to check your moon and your rising signs are, or feel free to check your moon and your rising signs. If you're unsure of what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below to take you to a webpage to get you that information. If you um, would like a personal read, there is a link in the description box uh, to my personal page if you are interested, all right? Oh my goodness, guys, look at the bottom of the deck here is the Queen of Cups. This is an excellent card for the bottom of the deck energy. This is like a true love situation. This is a compassionate, sympathetic, empathetic, caring, nurturing uh, energy between the two of you, which is good because we have a lot of passion here. <laughs> so it's good to have a lot of love. I mean, a lot of passion is good too, but you know, if you're looking here for a love read, you probably want more than just the passion. <laughs> All right. So what are you showing up as Taurus? I feel like you are either going through a divorce or an ending of a relationship, or you are um, just kind of getting your life in balance. We have the seven of wands, the 10 of swords and the justice card. So, so to me, the justice card mostly represents divorce situation or an ending of a relationship. And when we have the 10 of swords right next to that, I feel like it's definitely an ending to some kind of relationship or very bad situation or cycle. Um, I feel like this is a relationship. I feel like you're kind of getting yourself balanced out, Taurus, um, and really kind of getting yourself stable. Sorry, my dog is scratching on the door. I feel like you um, have definitely been in through some hurt and some heartache and some sadness with this Ten of Swords. And then we have the Seven of Wands. You've shown up as a Seven of Wands. So this is you being very guarded, you being um, isolating yourself, protecting your heart, protecting your energy. So I feel like what you're doing currently, Taurus, is kind of getting yourself balanced and healed and keeping your heart and soul very, very protected um, in terms of a relationship. I'm going to splice this video because I got to get my dog. Otherwise, she's going to make a ton of noise. So hold on, please. I'll be right back. Okay, Taurus. Sorry, we're back. Um, so I definitely see you kind of ending something and, and getting yourself together, getting balanced and protected after some heartbreak or betrayal, betrayal or ending. Um, your person, I feel like potentially could have some similar um, growing pains to you. I feel like this person themselves has kind of pulled themselves back into a an, uh, feeling of like solitude, um, kind of healing themselves. But I feel like they are really working on getting getting metal, mental clarity about the situation or about themselves. I mean, I feel like um, for some reason, this hermit alongside of this queen of swords makes me feel like this person that you're coming into terms with or coming around or um, interested in or whoever this you or them is with and you, them and the connection. I feel like they are definitely getting strength. They are recognizing their own strengths. They are clearing out um, false beliefs. They're clearing out negative talk um, that they might have endured or um, say to themselves. I feel like they're kind of healing and getting themselves balanced and they're really willing and waiting to put in the work in a relationship as well as on themselves. So I feel like um, you and your person are kind of both going through a similar like healing process uh, where you're really kind of working on yourself and keeping yourself guarded and protected. The connection is one full of passion. Like I said, I'm very thankful. Oh, look at this. We have the Queen of Cups, and then we have the Nine of Cups, and then we have the Temperance card. So yeah, I was going to say that because we have the Knight of Pentacles, that this situation is going to require some patience, but um, definitely is going to be full of love, all right, with the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. But OMG, so much freaking passion. The Ace of Wands, this is the magic stick, guys. This is, um, they have so much passion for you, so much chemistry for you, so much sexual attraction for you. Mm, I need a I need a button where I can just start playing the first few uh, seconds of that song, <laughs> uh, the magic stick, because um, 
that is a very nice card in terms of passion. Um, and then not only that, we have the Queen of Wands. So this is fiery, sexy, flirty energy. This is um, extremely um, great sense of humor, lots of fun, lots of laughter, just someone that kind of owns the room. But the attraction between the two of you is going to be so significant. It's going to be undeniable. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be one, it's going to be a connection with good humor, uh, excitement, lots of flair. I think you're going to really ex enjoy it. Um, but again, the, the connection is growing at a pentacles pace. The knight of pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck. So it's going to be coming slowly with that temperance card being the third card on the bottom of the deck. I do agree that it's going to take some time. Pardon me. Excuse me. I don't know why that keeps happening. And I think it's going to take some time because you're healing and overcoming something. And I think your person is as well. So um, I think after you guys kind of both open up to the opportunity or the ideas of a connection, like a serious connection, because I think the chemistry is going to be there immediately, but you guys are going to be kind of hiding your heart. But the, the bottom of the deck is this Queen of Cups. So I do feel like true love is there. All right, let's get a couple of Angelic Revelation 144 Sacred Healing Journey cards. Disconnect, cross wire, breakdown, and communication. Engagement. Yes. Will you marry me? Peace offer, forgiveness, and acceptance. Uh, uh, bottom of the deck, we have karmic person. That just came out too in Aries, guys. Karmic person. Um, and then they had the page of cups, which is an apology. So maybe you're dealing with a um or just out with an Aries, perhaps. I don't know. But um, I definitely think you guys are both kind of actually disconnecting from, from your problems, not necessarily breaking down communication in a relationship, but I think maybe that could have been the prompting or the cause of the, the situation that you both are leaving or this one of you is leaving. But I think that you're definitely disconnecting from the world, kind of healing yourself, um, I think this forgiveness and peace offer could could possibly be forgiving yourself. I don't see this um, forgiveness and disconnect between the two of you per se. I guess it could. It could be um, it's you and another person. It's, I mean, well, no shit. But <laughs> the read that the vibe that I get is that you guys might not necessarily be together. These two people, not like a reunion. These cards make it sound like perhaps you guys could be. The, the a pair that like the this person can be the person that you ended things with um and maybe there'll be a peace offering to come back around and an engagement i kind of feel it more as a newer energy with this ace of wands here but perhaps it could be a new passionate start with an old person i'm not really feeling that um and then we had karmic person on the on the bottom of the deck i almost feel like the karmic person um, is who you're getting over and who they're getting over. I feel like you guys are both um, being released from karmics and that's why you're coming together and it's going to be such an intense connection because you're going to have a lot of uh, similar feelings. However, we got peace offer, forgiveness, and acceptance and now we have regret. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you and then friendship. This friendship is leading to more. Um, so I'll let you interpret that how you want to. Perhaps it could have been like a situation in which Ari or Taurus, you were um, interested in someone and they kind of friend zoned you. Maybe they feel bad about that because now they're starting to feel differently. I don't know. You tell me. All right, let's get a couple of Hermit Tarot channeled love messages for Taurus. I have so much desire for you. Yeah, they do with that Ace of Wands card. That's like another Ace of Wands. Will you choose me? Wrongful advice. I lie awake thinking about our future. So you have two fours. A one and then wrongful advice. So I definitely think this person has a lot of desire for you, obviously, with all that passion. Um, perhaps they're questioning if you're going to choose them. I feel like that's coming from them, but I'm not sure. You might be saying that to them, too. I lay awake thinking about our future. So I think someone is putting some thought into this. With the Queen of Swords energy showing up in your person's energy, I feel like it might be them. Maybe they're wondering if you're going to choose them, I guess. Let's get some love vibe cards from the King of King of Aloha. We have, I don't think we feel the same about this. And I'd like to kiss your sweet lips right now. I kind of feel like I said, I feel like, um, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I think there's two different energies coming out of this because my first energy was that this was somebody you weren't, you weren't 
um, currently involved with. You didn't know. You both are kind of coming from the same past. But then I kind of feel like this could potentially be somebody that you're friends with um, that are coming from the similar... Oh, sorry. All my stuff's falling. That's coming from a similar situation. And I don't even know what kind of noise that was. <laughs> Um, and you guys were friends and now you're moving towards something more than friends. So take it how it resonates, guys. We're going to get a couple of divine dating lovers oracle cards from Angelic Revelation 144. For Taurus. Ooh. Sleepovers. Mm -hmm. That's all that uh, chemistry and passion. Yes. And distant. So this, this sounds... Like somebody's far away, but in the picture, it kind of looks like people are um, together on like a honeymoon destination. So maybe you're you're traveling, or this could be like you were distant in terms of your communication with this person. Um, I don't know. All right, guys, let's get a Moonology Oracle card from Yasmin Bolin to finish off the read for Taurus. Balancing spirituality and practicality full moon and Pisces yeah and that's kind of the first card that popped out is getting that balance right so I think that's going to kind of be your vibe Taurus for the month of May but I do feel like you have someone coming in that's going to give you a run for your money um with this chemistry and this connection um could be a friend of yours but I don't I don't really get that as someone that you've been involved with but I don't know you take what resonates with you thank you thank you thank you guys I appreciate you watching um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. I appreciate your support so much. And until next time, guys, take care. Bye-bye.